thank you so much. A subscriber sent me this beautiful X320 lawn tractor, John Deere. I can't wait to try it out this spring. It's just awesome. Thank you so much. It totally took me by surprise. You know what I'm saying? Wow, what an adventure. What a sweet little tractor. This will go great on the tiny garage. Oh, almost three months to the day that I hurt my wrist. I am finally going to go and see an orthopedist on my birthday, March 1st, 2023. I am unbelievably excited. I am glad to be doing this instead of celebrating my birthday. It's a much uh, more exciting thing right now to me. So waiting for my daughter, we're going to head south. It's about an hour south to the, to the uh, Dartmouth Hitchcock Medical Center where I'll be meeting with an orthopedist. Also, uh, I'm starting fresh with my diet. I got waylaid. I, I fell to the wayside um, at uh, 199. So I'm still down three pounds from where I started last September, which is nothing. But I haven't been very active this winter. I just haven't, haven't been working, except building that uh, little tiny garage, which has been fun, and doing the e-bike reviews. So that's where we're at. Here comes Lauren. We are going to head south and see what I can find out. I'll give you an update as soon as I can. Thanks. Dee, 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 dee. All right. So I am back from the orthopedist. Actually, it's the next day later. Um, we have more snow. Currently, it stopped snowing, but the snow is building up in my driveway. I've got to go uh, snow blow. So that will give me some exercise, maybe work on losing a little more weight. Update on my wrist. It's, uh, they, I met with two, ac two doctors, actually, and the, one, uh, one kind of reviewed it and was able to find and make hurt what hurts. And the second doctor came in, did the same thing. So they are really great. They, they are, they're clear. They're, they sit there. They're not rushed. I'm sure they're super busy, but they took time to listen to, to my whining. He said, basically, my hand's a mess. There are many torn ligaments, probably. They're going to, they, to order it. Well, let me do this in order. Uh, many torn ligaments, potential bone chip. The remedies are, the, the first thing they could do or would offer as a suggestion or a possibility is um, pretty much what a one of you folks as a subscriber, a retired orthopedist said. He, it was almost, almost word for word what they were saying as well as what the sub subscriber had said. The uh, first option was a possible cortisone or steroid shot, topical ointments, things to just calm down the uh, inflammation. Uh, they could see where, where the bone was touching bone, uh, white areas on the bone that indicated it was hardening or uh, arthritis kind of stuff. So that was the first item, first option. And that was, they said it could, we could give you a, I'm not sure if it's a cortisone or steroid or, or if they're the same thing. I'm not, I don't know much about that. It might not do anything. It might help for six weeks. So it's not a long-term cure by any means. So the second one was to remove three bones across here. I didn't ask what that would do to my wrist, if it would like shorten it. I, I don't know. But remove those three bones and do some reconstructive stuff for the ligaments. Uh, that would be a two to four week recovery period depending on how good I was in behaving and so on. The, 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 before they would do that, they wanted to order an MRI. So they have done that uh, because they needed to make sure that after they removed these three bones that, again, I'm not a, no means a doctor, the next bone up, 
I think there's a ser the hand has a ton of bones except the one I cut off. So I have one less than everybody. Uh, they need to make sure that there's cartilage left after they take th these three bones out to make sure that there's something to keep the joints working. The bones keep, keep them uh, not, so they're not rubbing. The third option was uh, a fusion to just fuse all the bones with screws and, uh, I don't know, nails, 15 penny nails, I don't know, 16. Nails and screws. The screws and what was the other thing? Rivets or I don't know. They said the drawback to that is down the road, sometimes they loosen up and then you're back in there for aggravated surgery and it can, it could work, could not work. Plus, you lose mobility of, of your wrist. So in my mind, I ruled that one out, and I ruled out the first one. So we're going with an MRI. They, after I left the office, they almost immediately sent an appointment, but it was not until April. I wanted to, I wanted to do it back in, in uh, December when, the, when this started acting up so that I'd be done, recovered, and ready to go to work in the spring. So we're already getting close. If, if it's April, I don't know when they would schedule the surgery if they are able to do surgery. So uh, they said I could, what, I, what they did was try to get the two appointments together so I could go, it's an hour and a half hour down there, have both appointments the same day, but I don't really care. I want to get it taken care of. So I asked them if they could break it up and just do the MRI as soon as possible and then I'll meet with uh, the doctor after that as soon as possible. So that's where it's at right now. We'll see. I'm going to go burn off some energy and snow blow. See if this thing starts first pull. Nope. 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 Fuel's on. Primed. Choked. We did it. All right. I got to go up to the house and do uh, the house driveway. Ah, feels good to do a little bit of moving around. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Please, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe and hit the bell. Uh, I think a lot of you folks have not done that, and so you're missing the, the videos when they come out. I would appreciate if you do that. Leave a comment, and I'll try to get back and comment back to you. Thanks, and have a great day.